If you're new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. We're just gonna dance it out, okay? We're gonna dance. So when Juvia Space launched that natural radiant foundation, they surprised everyone, actually, they surprised me, and also launched powder foundation. Today, I will be showing you the Juvia Place powder foundations. We're gonna do swatches, a foundation routine. I'm gonna take it through a wear test, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you know whether or not I think this Juvia Place powder foundation is worth your dwellers. So if you wanna see what the collection looks like on my gorgeous skin, you, you, you know, you just wanna know how it works then keep on watching. There are 20 shades of this powder foundation. They're supposed to be silky and smooth and also have a tech in there that keeps your skin looking matte and beautiful. So they're supposed to be long wearing, breathable and buildable. Some powder foundations just look cakey on. They're saying that their powder foundations will not look cakey on you and it's also gonna help your skin look flawless all day long. Okay, so we were lucky enough to have Juvie's Place send over the PR for the collection. I really like the packaging. It's very insulated. I just dropped this specific one and it didn't break. So there's a mirror in the packaging and then of course your powder product. It flips up with a little notch over here for you to flip it up. There is a flat powder puff over here. The bottom of the packaging is vented. If your sponge is damp and you put it here, air holes in there, your sponge is not going to get moldy. I'm going to swatch the five deepest shades that I have because anything else would just not translate very well on my skin. The deeper shade is Deep One and it's called Zambia. Ooh, look at this. It looks like chocolate. And these were made in Italy, okay? This is Deep One and Deep One is Zambia. Do you see this? I mean, like, at certain angles, I can't even see it on my skin. Like, I am shook, okay? It is gorgeous. Next, we're gonna swatch Deep 2. Deep 2 is called Niger. Okay, this one is showing up a little bit on my skin. So based on these two shades, my perfect match for the powder foundations is gonna be Deep 1, okay? Next, we're gonna swatch Angola, and Angola is Dark 1. I just love how these powders move under my finger. Next, we're gonna swatch Katsina and Katsina. Katsina is dark too. I think I'm going to stop at Katsina because the next one is going to be entirely too bright for me. So I have four shades on my skin right now. Which one do you think is going to be my perfect shade? Okay, we're going to use it just so we can see what we can. So it's very early today, so I don't have to like wipe my skin down of oils and everything. This is my uh, moisturizer just peeking through. I am going to add a little bit more moisturizer to my skin because I just wiped the swatches that I did on the side of my face. Here is where we deviate a little bit from the review to like a little bit of a tutorial okay powder foundations i really like them because you can use it to set your cream foundations to give you more coverage you can also use it to blot your face to make your skin look as flawless as possible if you're using the right brush and also if you are doing it Right. Before you apply powder foundation, you want to make sure that your skin is looking as beautiful and as flawless as possible. You have to moisturize. Your skin has to be its best moistured cell. Not oily, not dewy, not damp. Because if your skin is damp, it's going to hold on to the product in a way that is just not going to be flattering. I just used some of the e.l.f. Holy Hydration with SPF 30 in it. Gorgeous and glowy. My skin, my skin is given. Okay, next I'm going to prime with another e.l.f. product. I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip with 4% niacinamide. Niacinamide is one of those skincare products that if you use it and you have oily skin and large pores, it is going to get you right. You literally have to use it on the daily to get your pores to look smaller, to minimize your oil production, even out your skin tone, and also just make your skin look better. Better. If you haven't yet seen me try the OG e.l.f. Power Grip, I will link a video down below for you to check out. But today, we're going to add some of this to the skin. And I'm going to let it sit for a little bit so that it can uh, dry down before we start the powder application. Because if I put the powder directly over this while it's still kind of damp, it is going to stick and look patchy and you don't want that. If you have under eye lines, make sure your primer is sitting in there. I'm going to let the 
the primer set for a few more seconds while I go dampen the sponge. A while ago, there was a viral way to apply powder foundation using a damp sponge to give that airbrush kind of look. So today I'm gonna try a brush and a damp sponge and we're gonna see which one of these two methods work the best, or at least which one looks flawless when you do it. Let's jump into our powder foundation 101. When you're applying powder foundation, there are a few ways that you can do it depending on your desired finish. You can use a foundation brush and a foundation brush is generally, you know, like a stippling brush. It's very dense, it's very packed. It helps you apply your foundation as flawlessly as possible without too much of the foundation seeping into the brush bristles, okay? So that's what this brush is. This is the Juvia's Place J203 flat top brush. Most foundation brushes are flat top. There are a few that are angled, but either way, you're gonna see it's gonna be dense, it's gonna be, and it's gonna have a very flat type of surface, okay? This one is for stippling your foundation onto your face. You can use this to apply a powder foundation, it's going to give you the most full coverage powder foundation application period. So if you don't want a full coverage look from your powder foundation, do not use this brush. The next way that you can apply powder foundation is by using a brush that is a little more, that has a little more movement to it. Something a bit more fluffy, okay? This is actually a powder brush. This is the Sigma Power Sculpt F44 brush. You can swipe the product on so it can cover very well. Personally, I like to tap my powder foundations in. A more fluffy brush will give you a medium coverage or a medium to light coverage look depending on how much you load onto your brush. And I would suggest if you're doing powder a little bit at a time, and then see where you're at and then add more. A new way that was on TikTok was using a damp sponge to apply. I've never done that. So today I'm gonna be trying this technique as well. So I'm taking the deepest shade that they have. It has a very red undertone. I'm looking at it in here. It's a little red. I don't like judging foundations by looking at what they look like in the pan because it might actually look better than it might look. We're gonna do the brush application on the left side and then we'll do the sponge application on the right side. Okay, so let's tap into it. Oh my. Oh my God, look at this. Of course the primer sat on our skin for a little bit, so which means that it's kind of settled down on its own. And this is where we're at right now. The shade Zambia has a rare, very, very red undertone. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of Angola on my forehead just to see what I see. I think I like, I like the tone of Angola blended on my forehead. It looks really, really, really flawless. Minus the tone of it. I'm smiling because I'm like, okay, so I, it looks like I'm using two foundations just to blend this over. On the right side, I'm only gonna use the shade Niger because the shade Zambia, it has a perfect deepness to it, but it is also a little bit too red on my skin tone. So I'm going in with the shade Niger. Do you see how flawless my skin looks with the brush? I just, I just, I just love using a fluffy brush to apply powder foundations because tapping it in gives me this airbrush brushed look. This is what it looks like using the fluffier brush. Now we're going to try the sponge. I don't know how this is going to go. I wanted to try it whenever it was a thing. Why do I do this? Like what could possibly go wrong? You know? Okay. I'm taking the butt of this sponge and this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic sponge. It's It looks like a spaceship. Like look at this thing. I'm taking the butt of the sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and start pressing it in. Ooh. The shade Niger was made from me. Swatching it did not make it seem like it would work for my skin tone, but actually applying it, it looks way different. I love the sponge because of the angles. Do you see how beautifully it fit under my eyes? It just like applied the product exactly where I wanted it to go without any fuss. I'm going to use that same angle to apply around the corner of my nose. One thing I've noticed right now is that the brush side is looking a little more glowy compared to the sponge side, which looks more more matte. Do you see what I'm seeing? I don't know what it is, but personally, I like the sponge side because it's gonna give me that longer lasting, more matte look before my oils start coming through. I 
actually, listen, listen. Whoever came up with this concept of using a damp sponge to apply your powder foundations, which we use a damp sponge to apply our setting powders anyway, is ingenious. For me and my household, we are going to be applying our powder foundations from now on with a damp sponge. Let's talk about the skin, honey. Like, my skin is skinning. My pores are non-existent, okay? My pores are non-existent. My face does not feel like I have anything on it. And also, most importantly, you can't say that I have a cakey face look. Okay, let's go ahead and conceal. I'm so this is the point where you decide whether or not you want to set your face with a regular setting powder, or maybe you're looking for that extra coverage because the circles were circling this morning and you just need that extra oomph. I'm going to use the, the powder foundation. I'm using the shade Tanzania, and also I'm going to take the flat side of the sponge. We're just going to do the same thing we did initially. We're going to tap in Tap on, tap into the powder and tap onto the skin because this will give us that very flawless looking full coverage under eyes. If you're somebody like me who doesn't like applying like a ton of concealers, the powder foundation will definitely help you get that better under eye coverage. And if you're a beginner of makeup, I really feel like using powder complexion products is going to help you blend better. It's going to look even more flawless on you and you don't have to worry about patchy looking base. I really love what my skin looks like right now. This is all powder foundation can get you. My skin doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel blocked. It doesn't feel, it definitely feels breathable. It's moving. It doesn't feel tight in any way, shape or form because of how I prepped my skin and also because of how I applied the foundation. It's not patchy. It's not blotchy. And because I didn't swipe it on my skin, it's not going to give me that crazy streaky look. The time is now 10, 16 a.m. I'll come back and show you guys my finished look and then we'll see what my skin is looking like. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look trying out the Juvia's Place Powder Foundation. So just to see what my skin looks like once my oils come through to see if it's going to change the tone and make it look red. Uh, but for now, this is what it's looking like. The skin is looking very flawless. It's looking very much like skin, honey. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. The time is now 3.25 and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so the time is now 5.44 and I actually finished my base at 10 40 something it has been almost eight hours since i actually applied the foundation to my face i had to stop now because i'm gonna go work out and i don't want to ruin my face because i'm gonna be sweating all over the place okay but this is what my base is looking like if i needed to blot my face i will get the foundation and we're using the, sh the shade Niger and I can blot my face with it using a fluffy brush. So that is it for me showing you guys the Juvia's Place powder foundation. So I hope this video helps you decide on whether or not to pick up the powder foundation and it also helps you decide on the shade to try for the powder foundation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.